What is up everyone? I hope all of you are doing great. And in today's question, we have a soap bubble of mass M excluding air inside blown with the help of a capillary tube. Okay, so this is the soap bubble. Air is blown into the bubble with the help of this tube. <clears throat> Surface tension of the soap solution is sigma. When the bubble acquires a stable radius, an additional amount of air is blown. Okay, when it has achieved an equilibrium situation, an extra amount of air is blown uh, and because of this operation the soap bubble starts oscillation if the soap bubble retains its spherical shape during the oscillation find the expression for period of this small amplitude oscillation okay so let us draw the equilibrium situation first let the radius be r let the surface tension be sigma as it is given in the question let us consider sigma naught as the surface charge density okay so we know that excess pressure inside a soap bubble is four times surface tension divided by radius which is equal to the ex uh, pressure due to the electrostatic charges okay now suppose the radius is increased by a small amount like this but uh, as this increase in radius does not create a huge increase in surface area so sigma remains uh, sigma not remains more or less the same so net pressure equals sigma not square divided by 2 epsilon not minus 4 sigma r plus small r that gives you sigma not square 2 epsilon not minus 4 sigma taking r and uh, writing like this doing binomial expansion as you all know basic stuff so finally you get 4 sigma square divided by r square oops sorry 4 sigma divided by r square times r this is r okay so this pressure creates a excess force which is this one so we get net force equals 16 pi sigma times r okay so this acts as our k equivalent <clears throat> as we know we can compare this equation with our general equation for simple harmonic motion as you can see that mass of the soap bubble is given m and you can see that the mm, whole soap bubble is performing a simple harmonic motion so you can consider that motion with a heavy spring I mean you can compare that motion with a heavy spring of mass m and we know that if a heavy spring oscillates and uh, the time period is divided by m by 3 divided by k okay so here you can take the same consideration where m is the mass of the soap bubble divided by 3 and k equivalent is 16 pi sigma so the time period will be pi taking everything inside the root so we have 4 pi square m by 3 16 pi sigma so root over pi m by 12 sigma so this will be the formula for the time period of small oscillation okay so i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative thank you